Tornadoes are fascinating. They can be both beautiful and terrifying and tragic all at the same time. They are definitely, as Rusty from Twister says, the wonder of nature. It's the wonder of nature, baby! And what does he mean by that, the wonder of nature? Well, seeing a tornado is kind of like seeing a ghost. There's actually that stereotype that if the tornado sirens go off, people actually run to the porch with their camcorder or smartphone rather than go to the basement. Full disclaimer, you should go to the basement if the tornado sirens are going off. Don't film, go to the basement. But who was the first to go on their porch and film a tornado? In fact, who was the first to take a photo? First painting? First mention? These are all things that we are going to discuss in today's video on the evolution of tornado footage. I even got this chart. You know me, I love my charts. What is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe for more tornado content. That's all we do here. Mostly, we do other stuff too, but if you like tornadoes, if you're a tornado nerd like me, you should be subscribed. All right, let's get into the video. Phase one, early history. Okay, before we get to photos and videos, what is the oldest mention? Well before tornadoes were called tornadoes, they were called cyclones. And before they were called cyclones, they were called whirlwinds. Now there's actually several mentions of whirlwinds in the Hebrew Bible. None of them are specific enough to be definitively what we call a tornado today. Perhaps the earliest depiction of a tornado comes from the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle, who in 350 BC from a series of books called Meteorologica, or simply Meteorology, Aristotle describes tornadoes as the spiral which descends to the earth and drags with it the cloud which it cannot shake off. It moves things by its wind in the direction in which it is blowing in a straight line, and whirls round by its circular motion and forcibly snatches up whatever it meets. We're talking about tornadoes here. Straight line, destroys everything in its path, definitely a tornado. Moving ahead about 400 years, we come across a man by the name of Pliny the Elder, who by the way is like the grandfather of encyclopedias. He said in his book, Historia Naturalis, which translates to natural history, that cloud which draweth water to it as if it were a long pipe. So clearly, he's talking about that basic tornado shape, keyword, long pipe. Now, this wasn't just a tornado. It was specifically a water spout, which technically isn't a supercell level tornado, but beggars can't be choosers in these early days. Now, let's move ahead about 1400 years to Christopher Columbus, who also saw a water spout during his second voyage in 1495. A lot of the early descriptions of whirlwinds were indeed water spouts, because water spouts are actually pretty common and obviously water travel was a major part of traveling and all that stuff back in the day so you know you saw a lot of water spouts but what about on the ground legit oklahoma level tornado we're talking supercell tornado what was the first mention of that well machiavelli who lived between 1469 and 1527 described a tornado crossing tuscany back in 1532 so that's probably a legit tornado. So we can talk about words and accounts all day long, but let's move on to the first actual depiction of a tornado. An argument can be made for a tapestry, which was part of a larger series of tapestries known as the Conquest of Tunis. This originates way back to 1550. This tapestry features many different weather events from rain and storms over the Iberian Peninsula. And what do we have here? a great candidate for the first depiction of a tornado. This little cone rope tornado on the left side of this mountain. Pretty sweet. That's a legit tornado right there. So we have definitive proof that by at least 1550, some people were featuring tornadoes in their artwork. Now that tapestry was dedicated to weather in general and to the landscapes in general, and it's huge. What was the first depiction of a tornado dedicated directly to that tornado? Well, about 40 years later, we come across a drawing of a tornado that hit the town of Augsburg, Germany. It's even dated as July 2nd, 1586. It was described as a threatening cloud that was on the ground for an hour and a half and towards the end of its lifespan, the tail began to sharpen and then the cloud went back up into the atmosphere. So we have an entire description of the tornado event itself. From 500 years ago, that's pretty freaking sweet. Now we're moving on to phase two, real images. 
But before we get to the first photo of a tornado, we gotta talk about some tornado damage photos because we actually have photos of tornado damage before the actual first photograph of a tornado itself. So I don't know what the specific first tornado damage photo is, but here's a picture of the aftermath of a tornado in 1870 in Iowa. It's not the highest quality of photos, but you can definitely make out some damage. Another early damage photo comes from 1878 in Connecticut, and we have many photos from the 1883 Rochester, Minnesota F5 tornado. Okay, so what's what's the first photo of a tornado? There's some debate. However, the first tornado photo is indeed the 1826-1884 Garnett, Kansas tornado photo. Now this photo appears to be of a moderately strength tornado, likely roping out, and it was taken by A. A. Adams. On the back, the description reads, April 25th around 5 p.m. Keep that in mind, April 25th around 5 p.m. However, if you look up oldest tornado photo on the internet, you're going to get a photo of this tornado. This is an F4 tornado near Howard, South Dakota. And many people talk about this being the first tornado photo. However, this tornado occurred on August 28th, 1884. So that's four months after the Garnett, Kansas tornado photo. This is a great photo. Obviously, this is a stronger tornado. However, there's no doubt in my mind that the Garnett, Kansas photo is definitely the first tornado photo, assuming the dates are correct. Photos of tornadoes would slowly become more common in the late 19th century. A few examples of early tornado photos would be from July 13th, 1890 in Lake Gervais, Minnesota. Here's another photo of the first tornado photographed in North Dakota in 1895. Here's one in Oklahoma from the same year. And the first Iowa tornado I could find was from 1899 in Kingley. This depiction of the 1893 Pomeroy, Iowa tornado might be the first example of a multi-vortex tornado or perhaps a twin tornado. Now many of us love to photoshop tornadoes. I mean I do it for my thumbnails but a man going by Mr. Connor may have been the first. He would take this photo of a tornado and he would superimpose it onto different backgrounds. Look at these four photographs. They all feature the exact same tornado. However this tornado is occurring in four different scenarios. So he was probably our first tornado photoshopper. What's the first pretty high high quality photo of a tornado. Well, the first high quality photo that I could find was from June 2nd, 1929 in Hartner, Kansas. Look, you can even see the bottom of the tornado tearing up the ground. Great photo for sure. Well, now it's time to move on to phase three, video. Kind of like the Howard, South Dakota tornado, there's actually a few misconceptions out there. If you look up oldest tornado video or first tornado video, many people will point to the Corn, Oklahoma tornado in 1951. And here's the footage of that specific tornado. I actually mentioned this as the first tornado video in a previous video of mine. However, the first actual tornado to be filmed comes from the British path and it appears to be a thin rope tornado in Cuba in 1933. So about 20 years before before the Corn, Oklahoma tornado. I will say that the Corn, Oklahoma tornado is way better quality and it's the first video of an anti-cyclonic tornado, which means it moves the opposite direction of like 99% of other tornadoes. The earliest tornado featured in a film has to go to the Wizard of Oz. It is possible that there was an earlier movie that featured a tornado, however, I could not find one. So if you know of one, be sure to let me know in the comments. But the Wizard of Oz tornado is absolutely amazing. This tornado was put together by head technician, Buddy Gillespie. This tornado footage was so good that it was used in several other films. This includes the film High Barbary from 1947, which out the window uses the exact same footage from the Wizard of Oz. The first depiction of buildings being torn apart has to go to the 1953 Warner Robins Georgia tornado, a tornado video featured heavily on this channel. In the Warner Robins video, you can actually see homes being torn off their foundation. This video was way ahead of its time for how close it is to the actual tornado and for the amount of damage it captures. About five years later, we come across the first full-length tornado documentary, which features the entire lifespan of a tornado that hit Dallas, Texas on April 2nd, 1957. At least 10 people lost their lives in this specific tornado. Some of the video of the downtown being hit is very high quality. Moving ahead to the first tornado captured during a live broadcast. On April 3rd, 1964, a large F5 tornado struck the city of Wichita Falls, Texas, a city which is kind of a tornado magnet. 
This tornado took the lives of seven people and stayed on the ground for 35 minutes. KAUZ TV6 reported on the tornado from the ground, and this was the first live capture of a tornado. This footage also has an early example of a radar hook echo. At this time, a little reminiscent of a situation we had here, I believe, back in the summer of uh, was it 1959, where Channel 6 made a television first by putting on the air live a tornado. Now, Finally, we get to the first helicopter footage. I couldn't find the actual video, but the first helicopter footage of a tornado occurred on May 22, 1981 by the Ranger 9 helicopter on KWTV in Clinton, Oklahoma. If anyone knows where this footage is, please let me know because I really want to see it. And finally, we are now in Phase 4, The Modern Era. As video camcorders became more readily available in the 1980s and 90s, we start to see a lot more tornado footage, especially when it comes to amateur video. So bringing it back to the intro of this video, who really was the first person to go film a tornado rather than go to the basement? Well, sources say that Ted Rubble from Kalamazoo, Michigan, filmed the first amateur video of a tornado with his camcorder on May 13th, 1980. He stepped outside of the camcorder store and turned his camera and filmed the tornado drop from the sky. So this was the first amateur video. Home videos of tornadoes became way more common throughout the 80s and the 90s. I want to mention a few notable examples of classic home tornado videos. Perhaps the most famous is the 1991 Andover McConnell Air Force Base footage. This video is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it, seriously, the tornado like goes right in front of them. It's just insane. Another classic home video is the 1991 Gulf Lake, Minnesota tornado video. This video features some very famous quotes. Oh, there goes Bob's boat. <laughs> oh, I hope not. Whoa! Oh. Hey, can't the windows. Oh. Get away from the windows. Tree just blew over. Bob, look at that tree over. My favorite home video might be the 1998 Columbus, Nebraska tornado footage, which is just amazing. I love the quality. It looks scary beyond belief. A great piece of footage. Susan, get my pants. Older tornado videos just kind of have a weird eeriness to them that I really enjoy. By the way, links for all these videos are in the description. Moving ahead in the evolution of tornado footage, we enter what I call the Discovery Storm Chasers era. This is my childhood right here. This is where we see the birth of celebrity storm chasers, including Reed Timmer, Sean Casey, and Tim Samaras. While filming and learning about tornadoes was the main goal of the Discovery Storm Chasing teams, there was a huge effort towards intercepting a tornado, aka capturing footage from inside a tornado. There were a few methods, one being a satellite dome camera left behind in the path, the other method being riding out the storm inside a tornado intercept vehicle. Sean Casey made great effort in intercepting the storm with his TIV-2, and he was finally successful on May 27th, 2013, when the TIV-2 filmed the inside of a tornado in Kansas. Reed Timmer was able to film the inside of a tornado in Aurora, Nebraska on June 17th, 2009. There's also a few other early examples. Many have become well known from capturing tornadoes and uploading them to YouTube. Perhaps the best example is Picos Hank, and I'm sure you've all heard of him. He's like the GOAT tornado YouTuber. There are other examples though. Reed Timmer has a great YouTube presence. Skip Talbot is one that should be mentioned, as well as Ryan Hall, y'all, who does tornado forecasting rather than tornado chasing. Tornado videos are becoming more and more common since people have smartphones and they carry a camera with them everywhere they go. So we're getting a lot more tornado videos from places like Europe and Asia. We've also entered the era of drones. Drones. Reed Timmer has captured a lot of great tornado footage using a drone, as well as this YouTuber known as More Pie. Still hoping for that tornado drone intercept footage, so keep an eye out for that. Well, there you have it. That's the evolution of the documentation of tornadoes. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.